Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to assign Active Directory group default schema when you create an Active Directory group in SQL Server as a login. In SQL Server uh, 2005, I'm not sure about 2008, but it used to be really hard in 2005 to assign a default schema when you add a group as a login in SQL Server. And I'm going to show you how uh, we can add a default schema to that particular group in SQL Server 20, uh, 2005. Um, as a workaround and uh, in SQL Server 2012 and 2014 it's very straightforward it's uh, just exactly what we would have liked to see in SQL Server 2005 and, and also in this uh, demo we'll be learning how to create schema in SQL Server using T-SQL script or using SQL Server Management Studio and how to add users to an existing schema uh, using the permission view of the schema so let's go ahead and do this this is my SQL Server right here and if you go in the login and see uh, up here, the first view you will get is that uh, if it's a particular separate user, just one single user, then it would have just one icon right here. If it's a group, you will see icon look like this, whereas two guys in a computer, that means that this is a group in SQL Server. And right here where th there is just one uh, uh, user, uh, icon right here that means that this is a user so uh, in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014 we'll be going to go ahead and create uh, add a login uh, into the login group in SQL Server and add a default schema to that it's very straightforward let's do that first so we're gonna go ahead and click right click and click on new login you're gonna go ahead and search for your login so in my case uh, it's a uh, if you are adding a group by default the group is not selected in the object so you're gonna go ahead and click on object types and uh, since I'm in different domain right now uh, I need to get into the the other domain keep in mind that if you're in the same domain you will not get get this error so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into Tech Brothers domain and this is the user I need to access the active directory of this group all right so I can add the group now keep in mind that by default the group is not selected so if you're adding a group as a login you might get an error that that group is not found in active directory the reason behind that is that you haven't selected the group so since now we have selected the group let's click OK and now let, let's look for the group in my case it's a SQL reader that's a group that is in my Active Directory all the SQL server uh, all the users that wanted to read the data on this particular SQL server right here I have put them in one group in Active Directory group so that I don't have to add individual logins so uh, let's go ahead and click uh, name I'm going to go ahead and provide my SQL DB reader. So let's check the name. As you can see right here, SQL DB reader. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see that right now it's uh, the Windows login. And you can go ahead and provide database permissions right now or you can go ahead and create the login and then you can go back to uh, assign the user mapping to a database. So we're going to go ahead and click on user mapping and these are my databases and here's my demo database that I wanted to give this uh, uh, group a permission. So we're going to go ahead and click right here. Uh, in SQL Server 2005, I'm not sure about SQL Server 2008. I haven't worked on SQL Server 2008 for so long. I've been into SQL Server 2012 and 2014. So um, I do know that in SQL Server 20, uh, 2005, uh, we used to get, we used not to get this default schema um, um, message um, option right here. Um, it used to be grayed out, so uh, it it's really hard to define the schema right then but we have a workaround which I'll show you in a second so we're gonna go ahead and click on this little level and um, right here this box and we're gonna go ahead and select the schema click on browse and if you have any schema user defined schema you can uh, choose that if you wanted to just uh, uh, have them create 
every time this tech brothers sql server reader schema anytime you wanted to do that you could do that but uh, in my case i want every user in that particular group to whenever they create or uh, uh, any object in in this database i want them to go ahead and create in uh, a dbo schema so that is okay with me so i'm going to go ahead and click okay and i'm going to give them the permission database reader and writer anytime they will create an object it'll be dbo that that user object so we're going to go ahead and click okay so basically this is how you do it in sql server 2014 if you click double click or if you wanted to go in any of the uh, uh, in demo and go into the schemas and go in dbos go in permission you can also add that particular user this way but um, we we're, we went ahead and give dbo uh, default schema to that particular group so all the users in that particular active directory group is going to whenever they are going to go ahead and create a table and they don't specify any schema in there then it's going to be their default schema is going to be dbo so let's go ahead and um, delete this and i'm going to show you um uh, the workaround in sql server 2005 i do not have sql server 2005 instance but i'm going to go ahead and show you the sql uh, the that workaround really does work here in sql server 2012 and sql server 2014 so i'm going to go ahead and delete this login that I just created and I'm going to go ahead and go in the demo database and go to users and delete this particular user as well if it does exist right here so now what I want to do is load my script that will work in SQL Server 2005 for sure and if you uh, see that you don't get an option of uh, uh, providing the default schema when you create a login of a group uh, then it will work in SQL Server 2008 as well so let's go ahead and load our script so up here I have written down right here SQL Server 2005 first you need to go ahead and create a schema if you wanted to have a user defined schema most of the time in organization that uh, if a situation like this you would like them to basically create a user defined schema in uh, um, uh, SQL, uh, SQL Server so you can create this uh, schema in any database basically and uh, uh, whatever the database that you're going to give them permission to you can use SQL Server Management Studio to create the uh, the schema I just want, would like to basically just just in this particular demo to distinguish that this is a different schema that I'm going to assign to the, the this particular SQL Server group a Active Directory group as a login that's why I'm creating a schema you don't have to you can go ahead and give DBO right here so let's go ahead and create this as you can see that uh, in demo this particular schema is created so next thing we want to do is create a login first and then go in the schema to set uh, a SQL Server default I'll show you the SQL Server Management Studio option as well uh, and I showed you a little bit in the beginning but let's go ahead and, and, and create right here and we're gonna go ahead and run this alter authorization on schema this is my schema and I'm going to go ahead and give it to this is this will become an owner of that schema keep in mind there is one uh, problem with this workaround is that um, if any uh, user up here uh, in this group will try to make modification delete and all that and you wanted to uh, track that you it'll be really hard for you to track that information that if somebody go uh, and delete the table and you wanted to know in this particular group that who deleted the table uh, it would be really hard if you don't assign any default schema in 2005 which they you you they they are saying that it's by design and the reason behind that design is that if somebody will go ahead and delete that table it is going to be uh, any changes that uh, are made in particular table views or whatever and you wanted to track that it will be really hard to track that I just wanted to mention that before we 
uh, move forward. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and use the right here. So we have assigned my schema to this particular Active Directory group that the login that we just created. Any user in this particular Active Directory group will have my schema as their default schema. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see that right here is my schema and right here is the owner. As I was saying that you don't really have to run this once you created the schema, you could basically go in a database and go in the schemas. This is my newly created schema. Go in permission and search right here for any role and you will see right here the role and click OK and provide the permission that what this uh, group could do in this schema whether it can control the whole schema you can go ahead and say control the whole schema so it'll control the whole schema since it's going to be the owner it will control the schema so this is basically the workaround in SQL Server 2005 and 2008 um, again I'm not sure uh, maybe there is an option in 2004 to select the schema when you're creating the login but in SQL Server 2005 for sure it's not there um, and to 2012 and uh, 2014 you have an option in SQL Server Management Studio and you can use that option uh, to create uh, to provide the default schema in uh, whenever you add SQL, uh, Active Directory group as a login in SQL Server which is most uh, recommended standard way to provide permission in SQL Server so in this particular video we did learn Active Directory group assigning in 2012 12 and 2014 default schema and we learned 2005 and 2008 and we knew we, we learned how to um, create schema in SQL Server uh, using T-SQL script and you can basically go in a server uh, in 2005 and right click 2000 uh, S SQL Server 2000 it's a bit hard to create a user defined schema you can create it but there's a lot of work around to it but in 2005 you can just create a new schema um, what I mean when I am saying all this is that you can use SQL Server Management Studio to do all that but it's if you wanted to use a T-SQL script as I showed you it works much faster and easily so uh, this script will be available on our blog stay tuned and I hope this video helps